How long have you known Mike Rush? I met Mike in 1992 in sixth grade. Uh, sophomore year of high school, 13 years, I think. Third grade. He's the first person I've known since uh, before anyone here, I think. I would probably say that I met him in the early 90s, 91, 90, 91. It was 92, I met him in 93. But uh, I met him right around then in a Spanish class. I've known Mike since junior year of high school, which is now 11 years. Since, seven, uh, since I was 14. Where do you mean him? Earliest I can remember, Mrs. Brown's fifth grade class with TJ Square, Mike Hopkins, Jason Pitchon, and Chris Yarger, and uh, we always had to be separated because we were troublemakers. I've known him since fifth grade, elementary school, so it's been a long time. I've known Mike, um, I guess since high, the high school, ninth or tenth grade or before that. Um, we met, he kind of just came into my life. I don't, it's not, I don't have a specific meeting time or place for him or some, some specific memory. I just remember starting to hang out with him. He was the first guy I met in Florida when I first walked into a classroom at Clearwater High School. Ten years now, I believe it is. A pretty long time now. And, uh, and see. And that's, that's what the fir first person I met was Mike Rush. And I walked into classroom high school, Pete from Chicago. Most people know me f now. I'll be everybody in Clearwater. Why? Mike Rush m pretty much made up that name there. Uh, Mike Rush was the first person I met in high school. Um, it was first period, freshman year of f first class. Miss Fernie's honors typing class. One day he wore a Aerosmith shirt to school and I hated Aerosmith because I liked a band called Danzig. I walked by him in class and I said Aerosmith sucks <laughs> and he looked and he looked at me and he said Danzig sucks and I was like mm, all right this kid's cool you know he didn't he didn't be a, a wimp you know I was in sixth grade I don't know but after that we were friends from then on, so 15 years now. I met Mike at uh, Belch Elementary. I used to run around through the neighborhoods with him and uh, Luke Gargan and Steve Toner especially. Um, we had a good time. Actually, the first time I met him was when uh, you sit out front and you wait for your parents to pick you up by the car. <laughs> and he happened to be in the same little group and we're sitting there talking to each other. And he, I, I, he was riding the BMX bikes then and stuff too. And you know, I'd mentioned I had a bike. For some reason, I didn't. I guess it rained earlier that day, so I got dropped off. Didn't ride my bike to school. And that's when I met him. I actually met him and Steve Toner at the same time. And uh, became good friends with both of them. And unfortunately, neither one of them are here now. And um, went into class. And I looked at all the other kids around us, and I was like, uh, that's the only other skater kid here like me. <laughs> and um, so uh, we instantly clicked. We had our first two periods together. It was uh, Miss Fernie and uh, Miss Myers. And um, in second period, second period was Miss Myers, and we would uh, basically spend our time flicking shit at the front of the room. And um, I would always get caught, and he wouldn't. And it seemed to become a common theme throughout high school that I would always get caught. And he wouldn't. Where'd you meet? We, uh, we met in elementary school. He went to Belcher Elementary School. I went to Belcher Elementary School. He was, I would like to say that he was like one of the neighborhood kids, but really his neighborhood was across, I don't know, not the highway, but his, we didn't live in the same neighborhood, but very close. And... We grew up together. We went all the way through school together, elementary school, middle school, and high school. 